When war comes to a place, it often happens that one man's misery becomes another man's profit. Well, here in Dara on the northwest frontier, they deal very profitably in death, for this is the street of a thousand gunsmiths. Or maybe a lot more than a thousand, for this whole village is devoted to the manufacture of arms. For a hundred years now, these cheerful-looking souls have been providing the means for the masses of Pathan tribesmen to kill each other and a succession of foreigners, notably the British. Now it could be the Russians' turn. In these workshops around the courtyard of the mosque, they toil away at making exact replicas of British, American, Czech and Russian weapons. They're so good, even arms dealers can't tell the difference, and the shopkeepers are proud of their work. With very little persuasion, you can get a rundown of the stock in Mr. Hadji's shop. This one's Stratton. Yeah. How much is that? Take a check a week. 1,600 rupees. 1,600 rupees. Yes. Shooting position. Shooting position. In addition, there are several lines, presumably for tourists with a homicidal tendency. Like walking stick guns. When a customer is serious, he's allowed to try his chosen weapon and request it to fire in the air. Actually, this customer turned out to be rather special. You buy for Afghanistan? Yes. How much do you pay for that this, gun? Uh, 2,000. 2,000? Yes, different quality, 2,000, 3,000. And how many have you bought? Have you bought many guns? Yes. For yes. Afghanistan? Yes, many guns. How many? About uh, uh, 30,000. 30,000? Yes. Where does, that's a lot of rupees, where does, where does the money come from? This uh, come America. From America? Yes. Uh, Saudi, Saudi Arab. And Saudi? Yes, and the uh, uh, Chin. Japan. Japan, every country, yes. All in all, it was apparently a very good day for business. So the shopkeepers, a little self-consciously, fired off a salvo in celebration. Anthony Carthew, News at 10, in Dara, on the northwest frontier.